Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your reading. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Virgo. We're going to take a look at the energy for the next seven days. Could be money, career, love, whatever comes out, your neighbor. We're just going to see the general energy. Now, below in the description box is the link to the extended reading if you want to check that out. We're going to get a couple of uh, words of wisdom for, from Spirit, what your advice is, what you need to focus on, and then we're also going to do a love reading over there. All right, let's see. Come in. We're going to see what the energy is coming into the reading, your, your challenge or influence, recent past, what's on your mind, situation. So why is everything happening over the next seven days? What's hidden that you don't see coming, your emotions, and what's the outcome? All right, let's do it. Coming into the reading, we've got the star, sign of Aquarius. We're going to lay everything out and then we'll talk about it. What's influencing that star, Virgo? You got the Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. What's on your mind? What's going through your thoughts? Justice, sign of Libra. Some of you are Virgo, Libra, Cuspers. What happened in the recent past? What went down? We've got a Knight of Wands, Fire, Leo, Sagittarius. What's the situation? Why is everything happening? Queen of Cups, Water. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I do like to name the zodiac signs associated with a card, but anybody can take on that energy. I just like to mention that. Coming into the near future, what will you experience? We've got a page of coins. There's your earth energy, Virgo. How do you see yourself over the next seven days or so? Two of Pentacles, more earth. What's in your environment coming in that you don't see yet? The seven of wands, so that's what's hidden. We're gonna clarify all this and see why it's hidden. What's going on in your emotions? Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And what's your outcome for the week? Ooh, nice, we've got the Ace of Wands. So more fire, Leo Sag Aries. Energy, passion about something, taking action towards something as well. Fiery, it's a new beginning. Could be something creative as well, right? Those wands can represent creativity. Uh, all right, also too, y'all are gonna wanna hang out to the very end of the reading, it's giveaway time, and we're gonna talk about what that giveaway is, and uh, you know, how you can enter to win the giveaway. So hang out to the end of the readings. reading. Also below in the comments section, we're gonna talk about soulmate and twin flame. What is your feeling on those two? Do we have more than one soulmate? Do we have more than one twin flame? What is your experience with twin flame? I don't know. I just like to know. I like to read the comments. And I mean, I definitely have my opinion on those. But I want to know if you've actually met a twin flame and what you believe uh, in those two and the differences. So let's hear it. All right. Let's clarify this, Virgo, and see what you need to know. It's all happening because of the Queen of Cups. So some of you have that water in your chart, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but also, also she just represents being emotionally balanced, super intuitive. So there definitely could be something that, you know, spirit saying, hey, listen, you've got the cup, you've got the emotion to offer, the love, right? But that cup is closed and it's because she's gonna use her intuition before she offers the cup. So very beautiful energy, I like her. She is emotionally available, but she's also very nurturing and balanced with the emotions. Sometimes in the upright, she can even be a little emotional, but she's got it under control, right? That's why everything is happening. This could certainly be somebody in your life as well, Virgo, but I just feel as though that'll be the energy for you guys. This is why everything's happening. I think it's your energy. So let's see. And because of that Queen of Cups, coming into the reading, we've got the star. So manifesting. A lot of you are healing as well because that Queen of Cups is a very healing energy. And again, because of that, getting ready to offer that love again and is capable of offering the love again. And with that star, again, yes, wishes and, and manifestation, but also a very healing energy. So let's, let's dive into it and see what's going on. Temperance just fell out on mom's lap. Sagittarius energy, we'll see how that plays out. Major Arcana for Sagittarius, also very healing energy, reconciling your differences, able to compromise and cooperate, but it's all about balance and patience with temperance. All right, y'all, I think I already cut these, but I'm doing it again because, well, why not? All right, let's see what's going on. So coming into the reading, why is the star here for Virgo, Aquarius energy, and the Hierophant, Taurus energy? 
some of you, I'm reading for somebody also too, you're studying something quite spiritual um, on the healing side as well. I don't know if this is like a side hustle, a new job. Maybe, you know, you just do this for friends or something like that. I think you're studying something. There is potential to make some money doing this. It could even be healthcare, right? I mean, the, the Queen of Cups represents very healing energy. And because this is happening, the star, you're manifesting this. But it also, again, has something to do with healing. Maybe you had to put something aside for a, a little while. And now with the star, it's like, okay, that's my wish. That's my dream. I can pick this back up. And you're moving towards it very, very quickly with that Knight of Swords. Because the Hierophant, you've got Taurus energy there. He's also a guide. He's a teacher. He's educating. Sometimes literally a teacher. But also, you know, he's also very spiritual. Educating on, you know, the belief system. And sometimes it is, you know, religion or spirituality. Um, so this is a very much a reading, an energy and week of Virgo. Maybe touching on something again here that you've been studying or you're going to start studying that page of pentacles is a student why is the knight of swords here yeah ooh, now we've got a king of cups look at that so we've got a king and a queen of cups when you get a king and a queen of the same suit in the same reading virgo it's a soulmate it's a very strong strong connection and they have a lot of love in that cup now his cup is open you can see and he's looking right, you know, straight on, and her cup is closed. So it could be Scorpio energy, but again, it could be anybody. It could be Virgo that somebody, I mean, it seems to be very mature energy. Somebody wants to, they see you as potential for a very long-term relationship. They have the love to offer. If you're already in this relationship or dating someone, this is really about taking it to the next level, but I think you're gonna kind of look at that cup, right? You're like, oh, you know, I've got it. I just wanna make sure everything's right. Somebody wants to compromise. Could somebody wanna heal or reconcile differences? Absolutely. Does it mean they're an ex or you broke up and we're, oh, the past is coming back? It doesn't have to be, could be. Could be that you've just had a, you know, you guys have been on two different pages you know, with somebody that you're already with, but it comes back together, there's balance here. And somebody's like, yeah, I, I see your point of view. Like, I'm willing to work this out. I, you know, let's do this, this, and this. Maybe you guys had a disagreement about what kind of Pop-Tarts to buy. I don't know, but I do see a lot of love and a lot of healing if it's love for you guys. And again, for others of you, you're taking on that Queen of Cups energy and providing that beautiful healing, nurturing energy. She's very psychic and intuitive. What's on your mind, Virgo? You've got justice, Libra energy, yeah, and the Wheel of Fortune. Look at that, a lot of karma. Justice, you got two major arcana, so it's a big deal, but the Wheel is all about karma and things moving in your direction. The universe kind of gives you a little push. And again, with justice, that's also good karma. It's things are starting to go your way. You're really working on something or you've worked towards something, and now because of that, that wheel is moving and justice is here, which again is all about restoring balance. It's right over wrong. Something is definitely part of your journey and your path here also with the wheel. I love it. What's What happened in the recent past? You've got a Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy, and the Queen of Pentacles. Could certainly be you, male or female. Virgo energy. So the Knights are travelers of the deck they're pursuing they're coming they're going the knight of wands is in pursuit of something that he's very passionate about so again you made a decision here and it had to do with stability bringing in more money into your life <sighs> it's nice and also to expanding your career maybe you thought about even doing something from home but you were passionate about this and you decided it was time to get on the horse and go for it and it was thought out though, because the Queen of Pentacles will never base decisions on emotion. It's very slow energy, really about stability and future. Others of you, again, in love and relationship, somebody's riding in here. There could have been an age difference, but it, maybe it wasn't real serious in the past or there were discussions about where the relationship is headed. But to me, it looks like now you've got this cup and you're thinking about it. Why is this Queen of Cups here in the foundation? Yeah, the Emperor, Major Conifer Aries. Wow, this is a badass reading. 
He's all about stability, overcoming obstacles. Of course, the divine masculine. He's a father. He's a husband. He rules his empire. And he's above the kings. I mean, this is really the energy if you're looking for a long-term relationship. You know, he can be a little stubborn, but he knows how to provide stability in a relationship, in a home. And again, he's very nurturing as well. This is very mature energy if this is heading for love. And some of you are like, well, I'm single. I don't have anybody. This is the energy that's manifesting around Virgo. So you need to make sure you're doing your affirmations, cutting out things that are toxic and no good for you because this looks amazing. So it's all happening because I think this emperor energy, whether it's in Aries or not, wants some sort of decision from you. And you're looking down at that cup and you're like, yes, my emotions are balanced. Yes, I do have the love to offer, but I got I to gotta just make sure it's right. And this reading tells me it's right. So, you know, balls in your court. Others of you, again, you're going to be your own boss. Like you're bossing up. You have a beautiful spiritual healing energy to offer others. And you're taking on that emperor energy who often does work from home or owns his own business or does his own thing. Coming into the near future, you'll experience Page of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups. Again, the Knights are the arrival of something. You're learning something and you're bringing that cup to others. So the Page of Pentacles is studying. That Pentacle can certainly turn into something of value. You know, it starts small, but it grows, right? Because of that, what you'll experience in the near future is that Knight of Cups. So again, the arrival of something in that cup. You're handing out your cup and you're receiving something in return, right? There's this kind of equal give and take, but there's healing and love and emotion in that cup. And, it, you know, again, for relationships, somebody is, you know, coming in maybe to offer an apology. Maybe you guys had an argument or you weren't on the same page with something. This is an olive branch being extended with that page of pentacles and, you know, a beautiful kind of romantic sweeping you off your feet type energy with the Knight of Cups. How do you see yourself? Two of Pentacles going on with that. And uh, I, I had a feeling she would show up. Taurus, Major Arcana with the Empress. So now we have an Emperor and we have an Empress. This is a strong, powerful duo. This is mom, dad, husband, wife. They run their empire. Very, very strong, powerful, feminine energy with the Empress. And she does represent abundance and growth. Again, Virgo, some of you are in that energy. You see yourself as juggling a lot, right? Like maybe some of you are single parents. Like you're a good parent. I mean, you're you're nurturing, you're feeding the, you know, the surroundings. This is all about growth and potential. It's very, very beautiful energy. And it's also giving birth to something new as well. So a new business, a new way to help people, to nurture, to guide. And you see yourself again as maybe you have a full-time job, a career, and then you're also doing something on the side. You're restoring balance. I think you see yourself as really busy as well. And again, in relationships, a lot of y'all just see yourself as kind of going back and forth. Yes, I see expansion. I want to move forward. But, you know, I got to make sure that everything's right. So you're, you're really in that earthly energy. And, you know, making sure that everything is stable before you give yourself completely to love. What's in your environment that you don't see coming? Seven of Wands. What do we have? We have the Page of Cups in reverse. So that Seven of Wands is very strong. The Seven of Wands is very much about standing your ground, right? This is my space. This is what I want. You're defending your cause. You're defending what you want. Blocking out people who aren't bringing that to you. And because of the Page of Cups in reverse, I think a lot of you had a dream that you wanted to pursue outside of relationships. Again, we go back to this like business, helping people, something like that. You weren't able to, you had to kind of put that on hold. You had to wait. And now on your mind is like, oh, okay, now the wheel's turning. So you're having to fight for this. You're not backing down, right? There's something that's happening here around you, Virgo, that you're able to kind of pick up where you left off and pursue something here. It's nice. What's going on in your feels? So in your emotions, you've got the Wheel of Fortune, 
and that one is in reverse. So again, it's like, man, I'm scared. Now that things seem to start picking up in different areas of my life, is it gonna go back to where it was? Is it gonna get stuck, right? I'm tired of working towards relationships and you know my job or you know things on the side here and getting stuck. I'm ready for that wheel to move. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Yeah, with the Seven of Swords. I feel in love, you've been handed that Seven of Swords in the past. And again, just be careful in your emotions, a little bit negative energy, but who wouldn't, right? I mean, if, you've, if all you've experienced is the Seven of Swords, it's only natural that you're going to think, okay, the wheel's gonna move in the other direction and I'm gonna get stuck. It's not gonna go my way, right? Somebody's gonna steal my money, my Pop-Tarts, my heart, my love, whatever it is. So, you know, again, this is a beautiful period of time to manifest, write down your affirmations, work on it. It's work every single day, doing something to keep your vibrational energy on a really high level. Right. This is also, I think, for a lot of you strategizing, putting a plan in place and not telling others. You don't have to tell everybody what you're doing, what you're up to. You know, if it's like this, you want to get this off the ground and, and you want to work towards something here that you've really, really wanted to pursue, maybe you don't want to tell a whole lot of people until you get it finalized. And that's OK. That Seven of Swords can certainly talk about keeping it to yourself for a little while. The outcome is the Ace of Wands. So here's the gift from the universe. What's this Ace of Wands about? And the Three of Wands. And Three of Wands, you know, really known for, hey, I've manifested, I've had to wait. Maybe I've even done a lot of networking. And now here it comes. It's coming in, ships are coming in. And it's all around this beautiful, passionate new beginning that you guys have, drive, creativity, I do feel like this is something you're pursuing and it's in the creativity, like the arts in some way with a little touch of healing as well. Somebody's thinking about going to nursing school. I just heard that when I saw the Queen of Cups as well. Go for it. Do it. This is here. It may not have happened in the past. You may have been stuck maybe due to finances, something like that. But this week is the time to start making those moves as far as relationships go there's a lot of passion, a lot of drive here with that Ace of Wands to get this moving in the direction. Whether you're single, you're coupled, you're dating, you're wondering, are we going to be together in the future? Something happens over the next week where finally this starts to manifest, Virgo. You've got that Three of Wands on that Ace of Wands. Beautiful energy. That is all about taking action and making things happen. Now, in the extended reading, again, we'll focus what you need to do during the next seven days what spirit's saying okay if you do this this is going to help this move along and then we'll also do a love reading whether you're single or coupled we'll see what you need to know let's talk about the giveaway so august 1st i will pick a winner all you have to do is uh, to enter is comment below and what the giveaway is is a private reading so every couple months or so i like to show my appreciation to y'all and do some sort of giveaway. I did, I've done the postcards. That was the last thing. Um, this time around, it will be one private reading. So if you want a private reading, just comment below. Let me know that you want to be part of that giveaway. And you can comment on as many videos as you like. All right, Virgo. That's what we've got. I will see y'all over on the extended. I am loving you hard. Love me hard back. And we will speak soon. Take care.